everyone and welcome back to Tootsie Tuesday. Another set of 80s themed toes that match this set of nails. Gives me, you know, quite a graffiti feel and also the 80s candy on those green nails. Love them, you guys. Love them. Love the way they turned out. All right, before we go on to it, let's go ahead and read our words of Jesus for women. We are on no judging. Do not judge or you too will be judged, Matthew 7, 1. And I talked to you guys that about that, you know, talked to you guys a lot about that. We are never to judge anybody. And sometimes people will say, well, I'm not judging you. I'm just stating an opinion. A lot of it is judging. Remember that it's a judge and God will judge you back. And it could be worse. Like it says right in Matthew 7, 1, it will be even worse to you. It says down below, how do you feel when someone makes a judgment about you? Fairly or unfairly, probably not good, maybe even angry. Maybe you're even tempted to judge her right back. Having an opinion is one thing, judging is another. See, but there is a difference. You know, there is an opinion and then there's judging. So just kind of think before you talk. That's what it says in the Bible too. If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say nothing at all then. Jesus says not to judge. You probably don't have all the information. You don't know the situation, motivation, Actually, it's just not your place to judge. It's your place to love. After all, that's what Jesus taught. It's hard to judge someone and love them at the same time. If you do, Jesus says you will be judged yourself by God. So be very careful in judging others. Remember, not a one of us walk free of sin. We all live in glass houses. So those without sin cast the first stone and not one of us will be able to cast a stone just be careful because we are all sinners saved, you know, sinners and some sinners saved by grace. Thank God that we can get our salvation and know that we are sinners. So it's not right to judge somebody. Don't judge because God is going to judge you then. So just be very, very careful. Live your life right. And just, you know, be kind. And again, if you have nothing to say good, then just don't say nothing at all. You know, I know some people will have like an opinion of something, but you can really take something a totally different way. Somebody can or others can think that they're opinionated and it's more judging somebody, you know. So just be careful how you live your life and try not to judge because, you know, we've all done it. Who hasn't done it? We've all done it because... Again, we're sinners. That's why God had to send his son to die for us. But that being said, let's be as good as we can. Let's be kind. Let's be loving. Let's love everybody and not judge anybody and assume things. Assume. That's what a lot of us do. We assume, you know, don't assume things. Really don't. Don't assume things. Just live your life. Be happy and just work on you. We all got to work on ourselves because we're responsible for ourselves, and we're going to be judged ultimately, ultimately by God. Nobody else needs to judge us. Because if we do, that's another thing we're going to be judged for and even more. So be careful. Down below it says, Dear Father, I need to confess that judgment burst out of my heart so quickly. I'm so critical of others and I'm so certain I'm right. Forgive me and clean my heart in its critical spirit. Help me to remember that I, that I don't know what mountains other people are facing and that I need to give them some room. In Jesus name, amen. See, that's another thing. We got to give them that room. We do. You know, sometimes we want to very quickly, we want to judge or opinionate something and it could hurt somebody. It really can truly hurt somebody's heart. So just be careful. Be careful what you do. And no, don't judge. None of us live sinless. When we are Jesus Christ and we walk this earth sinless, then we can judge. Then we can because then we're Jesus Christ, right? So, but there is only one Jesus Christ and he's the only one that can judge us. We can't judge others, you know, so try not to do that. Be kind and loving to everyone. Start your day, go through your day and end your day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. Get in a beautiful personal relationship with the Lord like I'm doing. I'm doing a 90 day challenge and I love it. I'm almost done with uh, Leviticus and I'm going into numbers and I just absolutely am having a great time reading it. I do about an hour, hour and 10 minutes a day reading. Um, if I have to split it up throughout the day, I do. So definitely, even if you have to split it up, split it up, challenge yourself. But the first thing, like I told you in another video, start with reading a Proverbs of the day. That would be the easiest reading, you know, each chapter that fits that day. So if it's um, like today, I believe it's the 10th, 9th or 10th, it's the 10th, the 10th of October, 
read um, Proverbs 10, all of Proverbs 10. Read it all and get the wisdom because it's the wisdom chapter and get into a habit of doing that and that will get you into a habit of reading the Bible every day and then you can start challenging yourself more. And if you've been doing it, now challenge yourself more to read the entire Bible or the whole New Testament in 30 days or the whole Bible in a year, whatever it takes, but just read it. It was given to us for a reason and it's going to teach us all kinds of things like when I read all these verses to you, it's going to teach us things that we need to know. And just like this one, teach us not to judge, never to judge because it's going to come back on you and it'll come back on you even harder. We are not to judge because not a one of us live sin free. Boy, I wish we did, but we don't. So, but anyways, again, I do my videos on the same day, the nails and the toes. So I have the outfit on still from church today. And, um, yeah, so I just did the nails. I always do them to still kind of match with what I'm wearing. So I did the green and the black accent with the jewelry and stuff. But I can't wait for you guys to see the 80s wear it Wednesday tomorrow. I did it down at my pumpkin patch and kept it 80s themed. So you guys are going to have a lot of fun. Well, I hope you have a lot of fun enjoying that. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. Now let's get on to this 80s Tootsie Tuesday toes. Hey everyone, so here's what I chose to go with for my October themed 80s Tootsie Tuesday toes, matching the nails I did on Monday. We've got quite a graffiti feel here with multicolor skulls, northern lights, and then the rest of the toes to look like the 80s candy. If you guys would like to see how I did this one, continue watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to Tootsie Tuesday and another set of 80s October themed toes matching this set of nails. Now we're going to do the toes to match and not everybody watches both videos so I will go over all the supplies for you guys plus link it all down below. For the black and the green these are the ones I went with. The green is China Glaze and it's called In the Lime Light 1009 a beautiful green and then this black here I just got from Dollar Tree and it says it glows but it glows in a black light so I can't wait to see what that looks like I got to get myself into a black light but yeah absolutely gorgeous and it's called skull and I just got it from Dollar Tree so those are the two colors I started with and then I dried it up with the Sesh Feet Dry Fast so I can go ahead and do the art the art I'm going to be doing the skulls like that we're going to start off with white acrylic paint I've got a palette here. We're going to start off with white and make the skulls white. And then over them, I'm going to be using the colors to brighten them up like that. Because when I was doing the nail design, I was doing that with this plate here using that image. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of blurry. I hope you can see that image. Um, it gets a little uh, fogged when I use that, you know, the um, acetone to clean it. But You'll get to see it. It's just a bunch of little flowers and scroll work and all that. But I put all the colors on there with my hot neon paints that I'll go over. And this I got from Wish. It came with this whole pack of them. It's a whole booklet of all these stamping plates. And that's the one I'm going with. And it's collection two. If you can see that there, I'll link it down below. And I'm going to use the Born Pretty Scraper. It's just dirty from doing the nails. And the Born Pretty Stamper. Also got that from Wish. It's a clear stamper. I'll be doing the studs on it with these right here, multicolor studs, because I want to do like a graffiti look. That's what I'm shooting for. Um, like I did for my very first video, I had all that graffiti behind me. When you see graffiti, you think of the 80s. And then these pieces of little, uh, you know, studs on here, these here, are reminding me of that candy. If you remember that candy that we used to get on that paper back in the 80s, and we'd eat it off the paper. Do you remember that? And sometimes we'd even eat paper. But it would be on that paper and we eat it. That's what it reminded me of when I matte top coated it. So that's why I like the matte finish on this one. It does remind me definitely of the 80s candy. If you remember that, we used to eat it off. They were dots and we ate it off the paper. So I'm using these here, but I'm doing stars and dots and the different multi-hot neon colors. And then for the stamping plate, the colors I'm going to use here, I'll show you. I'll get them lined up here in my hand. Uh, three of them are from Walmart. These three here. And then these two are from CVS. These two actually glow in the dark, but they're all neon paints. So that's CVS. They don't have a name on these two, but it's a neon blue and neon pink. The green here is called Lucky. The yellow is called Day Glow. 
and the orange one is called Stardom. So all of these I got from Walmart, and they are the gel polish, and they shine like a gel. They really do. They're beautiful. So those are the colors that I'll be putting on the stamping plate, and I'll just put it all over on that one image and then scrape it off, and that's what I'm going to do on the big toe, and then I'm going to do the skulls, and or I'm going to do the skulls first, then go over that, and then the skulls I'm going to paint them in because you could barely see that, but you see the image behind it. And then, of course, I'm going to use the Northern Lights that I made here. It's a holographic top coat. Put that over, and that's where it gave it that, all that, you know, work in the background as well that gives it that graffiti wall and that, you know, beautiful sparkle. But matte finished, it doesn't look as sparkly. Then it just looks like a bunch of, you know, artwork, like on a graffiti wall. All right, so when I'm all done, I will be using Robin's brush to do that on the, you know, on the skulls to do all the painting of the colors with the acrylic paints. And then when I'm all done, I will dry everything up. Oh, and to glue the studs on, I'm just going to use this brush on glue I got from Sally's. And then that's it. And then I'll be using the Sesh Feet to dry everything up, smooth everything down. And I'm going to use the OPI matte top coat when I'm all done. Oh, and the rest of the toes, I'm just going to put the, the, the candy on. And I'm calling it candy, the studs. I'm going to put the studs on all of them, even the black one. But I am going to put the... um. Uh, Northern Lights on this one too, so make it sparkly. I'm not going to do a skull on that one. I don't think so. Maybe I might do one. You would have seen the front cover, but it's a little bit small. To do a skull, you might not even see it, so I think I'm just going to put on that one just the top, the um, Northern Lights, and then just do the little candies on it, the little studs. I'm calling them candies, but we'll do this one with the skulls. I always do the toes a little bit different. So let me get started, and I'll come back in. Okay, so I've got the start of the skulls on this one. I've got two on there. And I got a little bit of a smaller one going at an angle and one going this way. And remember, I'm going to use the black like I did on the nails, if you watch the nail video, just to put the black in there a little bit better with some of this black paint, the polish. I'll fix that after this dries so it's, you can see more of the eyes. It's just a little harder on a toe, and especially going upside down doing them. But I'll back up here so you can see all that noise is the chair. <laughs> all right, I'm just going to get some paint here. And we're just going to do, I'm going to do a smaller one up here. And we'll do the bigger one to the bottom. We'll do the opposite. So you just do like a half uh, circle. All right. Then right in the center, draw a line and then go around for the eye sockets. Okay. Like that. And then right underneath it, let me just fill this in a little bit. And I'll fix the eyes. Don't worry. Then right underneath it, do like a little square. That's going to be the mouth of the skull the chin, I should say. And then right here, come up and just do three little lines for the nose there and we'll fill that in, the dots like that, just to make it look more like a skull, okay? And then down in here, I'll do a little bit of a bigger one. Coming around again, do a half moon again. And don't worry if you mess up a little bit. We'll get it all fixed up here. I'm not getting enough paint on my brush here. So just a half, I keep saying a half moon. I ha well, half moon or half circle. Okay, fill that in. And then again, the eyes just go around like that and fill that like that. I think there's a little hair on this brush. That's why it's doing that. And then fill that side. And then do the little uh, square for the mouth here, the bottom part of the skull. And then again, just a little line and a couple of lines on the side for the nose, like that. And this doesn't have to be perfect, like I said, they're just skulls, but they're going to look awesome when they're filled in. Isn't that cool looking? All right, I'm going to back up and get my feet lined up again. All right, so we're going to let those dry and then we're going to stamp over with that image. And you'll see when I'm doing the stamping, when I'm talking about how you just, you kind of lose it like it doesn't really show up on the skull so the skulls have to be painted with the neon colors so we're going to get that done but i'm gonna let everything dry so i think what i'll do is go ahead and start putting some of the studs on and do the um northern lights on this one for now okay now i've got all the little candies on the toes because that's what they make me think of is candy on those sheets of paper but it's little studs is what i'm doing these hot neon studs in um, dots and stars and I could have done just dots but I wanted the stars too just to give it more of an 80s feel but I did it on all the toes and I decided not to do the northern lights on the baby toe on um, one of the baby toes I just figured it would look good with just those uh you know candies on there I'm just gonna keep calling it candies you guys all right so let's draw in here I left two open to show you guys 
I've got some laid out here. And I'm just going to start by just taking this uh, paint here and just doing like five dots of polish. I'm doing, or not polish, glue. And I'm just going to grab, let's see, we'll start with a, I start with the dots first and do them on one on each side and kind of the stars in the middle. So I'll put the orange one down here. Lay it down. Wanted to grab the glue there. Okay, so we've got that one. And then I'm going to do a green one. Just grab it off the thing here. It's so hard sometimes to pick these up because they're studs, so they, they don't want to pick up as easy as like a stone where a stone kind of sits up a little higher. These ones sit down so low that it's just hard to pick them up. So I'm trying, you guys. Come on. Okay. And then I'm going to put that to this corner. And then in the middle, we're going to do the stars. So let me grab, I got a yellow one. I'll put that right in the center and then we'll do a purple one to the end here and make sure it's on the toe fully or they're going to pop off. So make sure they all get into the glue here. Okay. Give them a little push. Yeah, don't they look like candy, you guys? Looks like my husband's going to say he wants to eat my toes because <laughs> he'll say they look like those candy things. He'll remember as soon as he sees them, he's going to say, oh, yeah. It definitely looks like candy. Now, I didn't intend to have all that glue like that, but that's okay. It can still work. So we'll put one up in here, one green one down here, spread it apart there, and then we'll do the stars. We'll do a pink one up to the top here, a purple one down here, We'll do the yellow right in the middle. If I have another yellow one, I actually got to go to my little container because I'm running out of these. I need a little yellow one, a little yellow star. Sorry, I thought I would have enough to get through here, but I ran out. I just need one right in the center there and give it a push into the glue. Now we've got all the little candies on there. All right, so that is that. I'll back up and I'm gonna pick up all those studs there and put them away. But there we go. Now I can go ahead and start painting or, or stamping the skulls now because they're dry enough. We're gonna do the stamp work and I'll come back in and show you. Okay, so now we've got the stamping done on this one and I'm gonna draw in so you can see it. It's probably hard to see from far away, but you see it stamped, but how it doesn't, you know, make the skull stand out like I wanted like with you know, that's what I thought I was going to get was more something like that when I did it with those bright colors. So I have to use the paint, but it got around onto the black like that. And that's what I like. And it kind of goes through them, but I'm going to paint them. So now we'll do the other side. Let me set up here. Okay. Drop that down. All right. I got my stamping plate right here. And we'll make sure we're in frame here so you can see this on the other toe. Actually, I got to turn this this way because it's the other toe I'm doing. So just slide it into there so I know it's into frame for you guys. Let's slide this over here, I'm sorry. Okay, just like that. That's the side I need. All right, get that cover off. It's clean. So now we're gonna go ahead and paint the colors on. Got them all open here. And just in a spot, I'm just gonna paint. Make sure you get enough paint though and just little areas. I'm just going to do all the colors over this entire image. And if a color mixes, take your brush and wipe it off, you know, like this, so it doesn't go back into the jar. And then we'll do the orange. Again, just wipe it off so it doesn't get it in the jar. Don't want to mix the colors. These are such pretty neons. I don't want to ruin them. And then we got the blue that we'll do right here. And then the last one, the yellow. And that one always seems to mix. So we're going to make sure we go like this and wipe that off before we put it back in the jar. All right. And then you want to be prepared and ready to go right away because... Oh, wait. Shoot. Hang on. I got to clean this off quick. And I hope... Yeah, never use a swab to, to do this because it gets a bunch of hair on this thing. 
I'm sorry. I was cleaning this plate wrong. You're supposed to use tape. Let me grab a little piece of tape. One second, guys. I'm sorry. I was cleaning it with the cotton swab. You're not supposed to use that on these plates. You want to use tape. I was using it with a cotton swab and acetone, but you're supposed to use tape, you know, just to get it clean or whatever. So I'm making sure I'm getting all the little hairs off of it because I got hairs from that cotton ball. All right, as long as it's still wet there, we're good. So we're going to go ahead and scrape. And quickly pick up the image. And there it is there. And that is good enough because it's just, like I said, just going around on the toe. So I'll put the toe up in here so you can see. And I'm just going to go like this, turn it a little bit, and I'm just going to stamp it on. Just like that. Just so it gets around the toe. And any spot that didn't fill in, I'm just going to take some more of it and go like that. And the blue there. Set that down. If you don't do it fast enough, you can't get them on there. But if you get the, the general idea how it just gives it some of those colors there. Then we're going to be painting now. So let's clean up this brush too. Make sure you always clean your brushes in between. I mean your stamping plates. In between, you want it cleaned off. Always keep it clean. All right, so just put that down there. And now we're going to get ready to paint the skulls. We're going to paint them with all those bright neons with that brush. I'll get one done and I'll come in and show you. Okay, so I've got this one all done and I did fill in with some black for the eyes and the nose on both of the skulls. I told you I was going to do that. I just put a little bit of black out on this tray here, the polish, and I just fixed them just with the brush. And then I did all those hot neon colors. Isn't that beautiful? Let me draw in here so you can see. And isn't that pretty? And that's how I'm going to do it on the other one. So I'm just going to start taking these neons here and make sure my brush is clean. Hang on one second. I want to get my brush clean. Make sure it's not got the black on it. Okay, I'll just start with a little bit of green. And we're just going to go around the eyes with some green. And you want it to look like, um, wipe the brush off each time. You want it to look like graffiti. So you don't need this to be perfect around it. It doesn't matter if some of the white shows through. But I'm just doing each color. And as I do each color, I am wiping it off, you know, with um, the brush. Just wiping it onto the paper towel here. Go like this. Whoops. Put the yellow in. And then some of the blue. That way you get every color. And then I'm going to start over here with the blue going around the eye here. Wipe it off. Get a little green. We'll go down here with the green for the mouth. And I'll get a little pink to go in there. And then we're going to do the yellow around in here. Whoops, didn't clean it off good enough. I get some more yellow. I like that yellow a lot. I love hot neon yellow. And then the green. We'll do, oh, we already did green. So we need orange, orange around this eye here and around this side and kind of through the middle there, just like that. Isn't that awesome, you guys? It really helps to do that because it makes these uh, skulls really pop and definitely look like a graffiti look because, of course, that's what we're kind of shooting for. It's the 80s, you guys. We're going back to the 80s. All right, so pretty much everything is done. All that's left now is I'm going to dry, Um, well, not dry, but, well, it has to dry. I'm going to let it dry. And I'm going to go over it with the shine coat just to smooth everything down and hold all those little candies. <laughs> I'm going to keep calling them candies. I'm going to uh, hold all those down with this, and then we're going to matte finish it. But I will come in and show you one matted, one shiny like I did in the nail design, just so you can determine what you want if you did this design. I'll be right back. I've got one done with the matte finish, one with the shiny. So you can decide which one you like. I will draw in here for you so you can just see it a little bit better. But I like the matte finish better with this look. It looks more like a graffiti wall. And it makes those look more like those paper candies that we used to eat. So, yeah. I love it, you guys. I love it matted. I think it's beautiful. Um, I did forget to do the glitter coat on the big toe. So I'm going to do that and then matte finish again. I just forgot to do that northern lights on the big toe. But I will take care of that and I'll show you guys the end product. We'll see you in just a moment. I wanted to show you one more time, shiny with the northern lights, the sparkle, and matte with the sparkle. It's not completely matted yet. It almost is, but you can definitely tell the difference between the two, just like the nails. If you see the nails, you see it looks more like a bunch of dots versus sparkle over that one. If I draw in closer, you'll see what I'm talking about. How one looks more like dots and one looks more like a sparkle. 
But I'm going to matte finish this and I will come back in and show all of you guys the end product. Alrighty, everyone, I am all done. And oh my gosh, I am loving these toes and also loving the nails that match from Manny Monday. They both are definitely giving me a graffiti feel, definitely an 80s feel. I love the multicolor skulls over that black and then the northern lights and then the rest to look like the 80s candy. Come on, these are definitely 80s all the way. And I absolutely love the way they turned out. I love that matte finish. That really totally did the whole thing to really make it look, you know, that 80s graffiti look, but also the 80s candy. So definitely try this look out. I hope you guys are enjoying all these 80s looks and there's so much more to come. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload. <music>